Watch this video with me. Have you ever wondered how Noah got all the animals on the ark? This video explains everything. Let's watch it. From the journal Science here, the origin of the domestic dog from wolves has been established, suggesting a single or uh, common origin from a single gene pool for all dog populations. Or the journal Heredity, which says, based on genetic, morphological, and behavioral data, it is clear the domestic dog originates from the wolf. So in a biblical worldview, we understand that God created things according to their kinds. We see that all throughout Genesis chapter 1, when God is creating it, according to their kinds according to their kind, according to their kind. And then in Genesis 6, when the animals are going to come to Noah to go onto the ark, they're going to go onto the ark according to their kinds. Only the land-dwelling, air-breathing kinds had to go on Noah's ark, uh, by the way. It's not the millions and millions of species people think of. Only kinds and only the land-dwelling, air-breathing kinds. So what is exactly is kind? What's well, the Hebrew word mean, M-I-N? And we translate it in, in most English Bibles as kind. Uh, and of course, that's not how we classify things today, how we classify living things. We use this system, typically. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Now, kind is generally at the level of family. Sometimes it's at the level of order. Sometimes it's at the level of genus. It can be a little higher, a little lower. But almost always, it's at the level of family. So really good rule of thumb is if organisms belong to the same family, they probably belong to the same original created kind. So what that means is that when Noah took the animal kinds onto the ark, again, only the land-dwelling, air-breathing kinds, that's only about 1,398 kinds um, that had to go on to Noah's Ark, including the kinds that have since gone extinct. Uh, so that's less than 7,000 individual animals when you account for two of every kind, seven pairs of some. So not that difficult to fit less than 7,000 animals onto the absolutely massive Ark that God instructed Noah to build.